How's it going today guys? Catch release fishing. Today I am now on the hunt for what swims in the water but what grows on the land and specifically morel mushrooms here in southeast Ohio. I'm gonna take you guys on my little adventure through the woods. Hopefully we can find some mushrooms. We're gonna be looking um, in wet areas. We're in southeast Ohio so there's a lot of hills so I like to look in the creek beds and stuff like this and um, usually have some pretty good luck looking around sycamores, your elms, your ashes, all those trees that like to keep their feet wet. Like one of my instructors used to say, Ron Cass, if you're watching. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some mushrooms, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, I found the first mushroom of the day right here. Notice it's on a, <clears throat> a little bit of an incline, but the soil's nice and moist. I'm around sycamore trees, um, elms, black cherries, um, other popular trees that are good for mushroom hunting. So we're gonna get this guy. It's a nice size uh, yellow right there. Good way to start the day. We'll keep going, see if we can't find any more. All right guys, when you're morel hunting, make sure when you find one, you keep scouting the area out because I see, I picked that one right over there and I'm following this uh, bank along, I'm in a little creek bed area in the foothills of the Appalachia uh, Mountains. So I'm keeping looking around. I'm already starting to see more guys. Look, check this out. There's one, there's two. We'll pick these guys. This is a nice size one right here. And yep, I'm already starting to see a bunch. Here's another one right here. Growing in the side of the hill here. All right, I see another one. Yeah, I think we found a good spot here. Just tread lightly because you don't want to step on any. See, here's another one. And this is all within 10 feet of the first one that I found. I know there's gotta be some more around here. All right guys, I'm still on this little steep, steep bank right here that's pretty moist and around a few elms and sycamores. And check this out. Look at that nice cluster. Isn't that awesome? We'll pick these guys and uh, keep going. I'm just, uh, and all these have been within 10 feet of the first one I found. So once you find one, there's going to be more around, guys. So keep looking. As you can see, we're kind of like in a little drainage system here. This is really uh, moist soils. We have sycamores and your elms all hanging around here. So it's a textbook spot and then you have this elevation, this little hill right here and some, and most of the time they grow right here on the side of this hill. I do not know if it's south facing or north facing. I want to say this is facing north, but that's usually where I have the most luck. Here we go. Nice little yellow. Beautiful. Got into like a field here, right on the edge near the ele near the little bank. Got a nice yellow right there. Heck yeah. You guys can critique my bag if you want. Another one here. Beautiful yellow. Gorgeous.
here's another one that's on a steep bank right here right under this uh, multi floor rose bush be careful it's a nice one heck yeah let's keep looking about a couple feet from that one there's another one hiding out under here Heck yeah. Nice example of an elm. And just down below, a nice yellow right there. Good sized mushroom. As you can see here, we're in a little creek bed area. Nice one right there. A little toasty. By these nice flowers. Alright guys, there's the haul we ended up with. I found, ended up finding 17 after a few hours in the woods. That was the biggest one. Nice size morel. Um, it's not bad seen a lot of footprints so I know there's a lot of people back there hunting already so this is just the leftovers of whatever everybody already picked so successful day out in the woods all right guys that's going into action here in southeast Ohio looking for morels I had an awesome time found a nice nice batch probably almost a pound worth of morels awesome day but I got to get out of here it's starting to rain the winds picking up and in the habitat environment that these mushrooms grow in, there's a lot of dead timber and stuff that if a wind, a wind gust catches it they could fall on you and you really get hurt so when you're out mushroom hunting Stay safe, be aware of your surroundings. There's also copperheads and stuff that like to hang out in the same areas because there's um, vernal pools, little uh, intermittent streams and stuff like that. And they like to hang around those areas. So be safe when you're mushroom hunting guys. If you liked the video today, hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out on the water. Let's go.